played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl, daydreamer. Kidnap me, take me back, all the way back to the.
Happy Tuesday, everybody. Happy Tuesday to you. It's a nice day. Weather's good here in Tennessee. I'm really glad that you're here. Hey, listen, I'll tell you what this uh, live stream is about tonight. It's really about, if <laughs> I'm brand new at this, so not a lot of people show up. But if they do, I'm here to answer questions. In the meantime, I've put together some ideas to explain what it's like living in Williamson County. Um, if you're thinking about moving to Tennessee, it's kind of inevitable. I wonder if that's working. Yep. It's kind of inevitable you're going to hear about Williamson County, Tennessee. It's, 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 it's a popular place to live. And a, a lot of the reasons is there's low taxes. The schools are great. Um, um, the, it's the seventh wealthiest county in the nation, the only one in the South. And I don't mean that as a big deal. It's just, it is, you know. And so people are always curious about it. And it's a, it's a great place to live. But what's cool about Williamson County is there's a lot of different cities, small and larger, not terribly large. Nashville's the big guy up in Davidson County. Um, but there's other cities that are pretty good size, like Franklin, Brentwood. And that's what I want to do is explain these different cities and their different lifestyles in a general way so that you know what, uh, know what Williamson County's about. One of the most common questions that I get in real estate, because that's kind of why I'm here, is people will call and they'll wonder about what's it, what's it like living in the Nashville area, and they'll hear about Williamson County for one reason or another, <clears throat> and they want to find out, you know, what is living in Williamson County look like for 600000 or 400000 and that's what I try to do is answer those questions, you know what I mean? So... Uh, this video, it's a live stream, so if, if, if you do have a question or something, you know, please let me know what it is. But in the meantime, I'm going to try to create a video that somebody can watch as a replay and still uh, consider it to be good in information. So I'll just talk to you like I'm talking to somebody, a, a potential client on the phone. Does that make, make sense? Let's just be friends about this whole thing. So um, we're going to start out this way. Um, one of the things that uh, I noticed and what actually caught me headed this direction was a, a website called Livability and it says welcome home Williamson County's many neighborhoods let me show you this let me share this with you there we go <clears throat> and it starts talking about the different cities and different lifestyle here in in Williamson County now I live in Brentwood uh, my office is in Franklin so and I've been lived here been doing this for 16 years and so I consider myself an expert here. You know, I've been here quite a while. And so let's talk about this a little bit. Here's the way this lays out. It's pretty cool. This is Williamson County, and it's about, what, 20 miles maybe south of Nashville, something like that. And it's a pretty big, big county. But the cities we're going to be talking about, if you can see that, hopefully you can see that, um, in Brentwood right there, and then Franklin. And we're going to talk about uh, Fairview out here. We're going to talk about Thompson Station and Spring Hill. Notice it sort of slops over in Murray County here. I don't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> it's just, it just, it, it slops over. What can I say? And then we're going to talk about uh, Nolansville, and that's over, over here. So we're going to talk about those different cities and maybe a little bit about the lifestyle. Um, I'm not make. there's no comparison, good or bad, in these. They just all have different things to offer. Um, but probably, and we're going to start here, probably the most popular is Franklin, Tennessee. Um, it has, um, if you like Civil War, if you like history, if you're a history buff, thing like that, the Franklin, Tennessee is awesome. And this is what the town looks like. This town, town square, hopefully you can see that. Can you see that okay? Is that coming through? I think it is. <clears throat> this is the town, town, they call that the town square, and this is the main street. And a lot of times you'll see people, though, when you see news articles about it, Franklin's been named the number one uh, little town in the South for a, a few times over the years, you know. Sometimes it's number four, number two, number six, number one, you know, that kind of stuff. But it's got this real Mayberry kind of a, kind of a look to it. It's a real downtown that you can go have good food and good restaurants and coffee there's starbucks right there right there starbucks love it but franklin's a great place to live and w one of the things that uh really cool about franklin 
is there's all you can get more varied housing. There's the, the very expensive places, absolutely, but you can get some that are a little bit more modest, and and I'll prove that to you here in a little bit. But you there's there's more of a spread property value wise that you can get into Franklin. You think it's just it's just these days it's hot the market's hot and and hardly anybody's finding a house these days without putting up some kind of a battle you know giving away the farm to get the house but what what people like about franklin what i like about franklin is it's real community based like i mean bring the family <laughs> franklin you're going to love it it's got the pumpkin festival and the pilgrim festival it's like a really cool concert and it's got i think it's the dickens parade it's sort of a it's the christmas thing and it's just got festivals all year you know time throughout the year not all year but throughout the year they've got bands that play outside of the place called the mellow mushroom these guys they do beetle beetle beetles covers but you can walk through the streets and it's just a wonderful place and up here if we go up here really quick i think i'm pretty close to it this is the uh the farmer's market if you like Farmer's market and you know that kind of fresh right off the truck kind of a thing Farmer's market Franklin's just that kind of a place now what you need to know about Franklin uh, is uh, The average income for somebody living in Franklin is about a hundred and forty three thousand now. I know it sounds like a ton But there's a lot of people who live there with less than that. I I don't want you to think that just to walk down the street, you got to make that you don't. The population is about 83,000. So it's not a large town, but it's grown really fast. And the reasons for and the reasons for all the things I told you, it's, you know, it's governed well. Um, it's real community based, all the part, not parties, but the events and the all that kind of stuff going on downtown. People just love it. It's just so it's a wonderful place to be. And here's what we can look at uh, price-wise. This I can show you this. I can show you anything that I have access to. As long as it's sold, we're okay. Because I'm not trying to sell anything here. Just showing you the, the sold results. The average or the median sales price in Franklin for properties is six seventy-five. That seems really high, but that means right in the middle. That split in the middle means that there's stuff below and stuff above that's what the housing is going to be in franklin it may seem out of reach but the but the bottom line is um if you go this way you can go all the way down to now this doesn't happen very often don't get your hopes up too much these are all closed notice these are all closed but as low as 250. don't get your hopes up i'm being cautious about that because they're hard to come by but my point is that they're there that's my whole point so that is Franklin. The next place we're going to talk about is Brentwood. We'll close this down. And this is Brentwood up here. Now Brentwood is an awesome place. It is premium living. There's a lot of beautiful, beautiful homes in Brentwood beautiful homes like for example down here on the corner remember this is princeton hills down here we're talking 1.5 plus and there's a whole this doesn't show yet but there's a place uh called omont across the street here really nice <laughs> but brentwood here's uh the thing about brentwood is years ago the way it was designed was each house was to have a full acre and so when you come in to Brentwood, you'll notice you've got this elbowy, airy feel. It's spacious. You got elbow room in Brentwood, Tennessee. But living's pretty expensive in Brentwood. I'm not going to kid you. Um, let's do this. There's just no way around searching this in real time. 900,000 is going to be, that's the median. So. There's stuff on the on the low side. There's stuff on the high side. Um, the statistics on Brentwood, the average 
income is 155,000 and the uh, population is about 45,000. Brentwood is just a wonderful, it really is a wonderful place, but I'm telling you that uh, the big draw in all of Williamson County, and in particular Brentwood High School, the schools, Ravenwood, I mean, there's just a ton of schools that are really, really good. And so when people move across the country, eight out of 10 times, it's because the schools are really that good. So Brentwood is the next place on the list that is really, really popular. Now let's change gears a little bit here. And the next one is called, the next town is called Fairview. Fairview is a pretty cool place. It's out there a little bit. Now I want you, I want you to see that this is Fairview and we had to go back, it went quite a distance to get this Brentwood, that's Fairview, Fairview, but it's still all in Williamson County. But what's really cool about Fairview is if you're the type, and this is this is my background. I when I before I moved here, I lived in Colorado Springs, and what I really liked was having land. I wanted to have some acreage, and that's where I for 30 years I lived in Colorado Springs with five acres, and I was used to that. Fairview, you can find that. Maybe not five acres, but you can find a considerably more land. The houses are uh, considerably less expensive, certainly than Brentwood, <laughs> right? <clears throat> but it's more countryfied living in, in Fairview. Lots of trees. It's close to the highway. You'll notice that um, getting to Highway 40, it's right there, is easy. It's splitting the difference, not splitting it, but... You hook a left up there, you go into Memphis, you hook a right, you go into Nashville. But the thing about Fairview is for folks that are that really like open spaces and they don't that you know that there's none of the trappings out there. There's a grocery store and a great place to live. Fairview I just love Fairview. It's just that my work is here in Franklin, so I couldn't hang with the drive. I'm simply saying if a little simpler lifestyle is something that you're after, Fairview is an awesome, it's an awesome place. Well worth your drive. I mean, for no other reason to get some fresh air because it'll feel like, well, you've been to the country. That's, that's what it'll feel like. The next place we're going to go is Spring Hill. Spring Hill is pretty interesting and I hope I have this history right. Now, as I said before, I showed you that the Williamson County, Spring Hill kind of goes, this is Murray County down here. Um, so it come, it slops over a little bit. But that being said, this is Spring Hill. Now the population of Spring Hill is uh, 106,000, uh, no, wrong. <laughs> 42,000 is the population of Spring Hill, and the average income is 106. But here's the interesting thing about Spring Hill, and I think that this is right. I haven't done any research today on it. I, I think this is right. You remember the Saturn automobiles? Remember the Saturns? Pretty popular, really. They used to make those here. And this is where there's a General Motors plant down there. And Spring Hill, it's my understanding, sort of sprang, no pun intended, sprang from the GM plant being down there and, 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 and grew. And matter of fact, GM still is there. And what's nice about Spring Hill is that, I'll show you this, this is kind of cool. I don't like dead air, but there's no way around it. Single family low price. See, it's 400. 400 is the median. It means that there's less. It's right, it's splitting right in the middle. Less, and there's more. And the thing about Spring Hill is it's real clean living. I don't know what that means. Uh, but th these neighborhoods, there's plenty enough. There's, there's some room in the lots. 
They're a little bit newer, started in the 80s and 90s, I think. What they just, Not all of them, but most of them. Um, it may be a little bit dense, but I mean, that's the way builders are gonna work, right? <laughs> that's, that's the way that works. Um, but Spring Hill is a good place to live, especially if you're able to live, live down there as well. Now, it has turned into a little bit of a bedroom community because, It looks said backwards to me. There we go. This is correct. There's South. Here's Franklin. But Spring Hill is South. So it's a little bit of a bedroom community. I think it's probably 22 miles. Probably 22 miles. Something like that. Uh, it's, but it's not far. But with the difference of Brentwood, for example, being 900 at the median and Spring Hill being 400, you've got a lot of opportunities down there. And and the way the market seems to be going, there's just tons of signals, meaning that the market is cooling down somewhat. And um, so keep, our, keep your eye open. You know, if you've been looking for a while and kind of getting beat up on price, uh, don't worry, uh, it's, it's, it's coming back a little bit. I, it's not going to be, there's no crash, there's no big drop, but it's not going to do the skyrocket thing. We're seeing properties, don't want to get too dev, deep into real estate, but we're seeing properties that are, prices are getting lower, they're longer days on market. These are all cooling signals, meaning that people aren't paying the crazy prices quite so much as they did. But anyway, bedroom community, Spring Hill, it's a nice choice, especially if you're coming out here to sort of get your feet wet, get started a little bit. Hey, how are you, Susan? <laughs> there we go. Absolutely. I agree. This is Susan. <clears throat> and how are we going to do all that? Well, there we go. Oh, that's very nice of you to say. I love yours, too. Uh, Susan Thetford, ladies and gentlemen. She's a, I'm a big fan of her, so... Um, Good to see you. Thanks for thank you very much for dropping by and saying something. <laughs> um, so Spring Hill is a, is a, is a good place to start if you if you haven't been here yet. So let's go on to the next one. I think is pretty cool. Uh, Leapers Fork. Whew, I just love Leapers Fork. Here's how this one looks. Leapers Fork is out. It's a little bit, I guess, west from. Um, Franklin. I'm nervous because Susan's on here. She's like a real pro. She, this girl knows what she's doing. <laughs> oh, but this is Leaper's Fork. And uh, Aubrey Preston, I believe is the guy's name, is a, is a person that lives out in Leaper's Fork. And one of his big things was to protect the lifestyle in Leaper's Fork from developers the best that he could as an individual. And he's been able to manage that Pretty well. He now he he bought Leapers. Uh, I mean, Puckett's Grocery um, recently, so that nobody else could grow and expand on that. Believe it or not, but Aubrey Preston, big deal. But Leapers Fork is pretty famous because there's. I don't know if he lives out there, but one of my heroes, Michael uh, Johnson. <laughs> Sorry, Michael McDonald lives out there. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> thank you, Susan. Um, uh, Michael Michael McDonald, she's making me nervous. I'm telling you, this, you see, she's really cool. Um, lives in Leapers Fork. I've kind of lost track a little bit, but Leapers Fork is a place where you kind of honestly you have to bring your wallet because it's it's not cheap living, but it is country living at its best, and it's as protected, I guess, as possible. I don't know how how possible that is, but they work really hard. Leaper, if you're a Leaper's Forkian, you are in good company. And at the very least, go out to Puckett's Grocery, listen to some music, have some chicken, enjoy the drive, because it is, it is awesome out there. Oh, you made me happy, Susan. Okay, the next one, Thompson Station. We're gonna zip back down just a little bit south of, uh, or a little bit north of Spring Hill. And here it is, it's just a tiny little town. But when I've ever, whenever I've been down there, to be honest, 
it's hard for me to tell the difference between Thompson Station and Spring Hill. Now, maybe there is, but feature-wise, it seems about the same. And uh, in terms of the uh, the numbers for Thompson Station, the average income is about a hundred thousand. Uh, but it's 6,000 people live there. It's pretty tiny, you know. Um, but is a, again, that's a great example. If you're just coming into to Tennessee and you're trying to get your feet wet and you don't want to, you know, invest your whole life into uh, buying a Brentwood property, for example, Thompson Station, Spring Hill, Fairview, these are all wonderful places to live and kind of put down roots because, in my opinion, Tennessee is all about it's all about putting down roots. That's what, in the last 16 years, that's what's happened to me. So Thompson Station is another nice place. And I think that the last place I have for you is this, uh, um, I don't mean to go on and on, but I was so excited, so excited to see Susan pop up. Um, Nolensville, Tennessee is a cool little place and it's, <laughs> it is coming on. And yet, here's the, here's the numbers on Nolensville. The average income is 137, but the population is 10, 12,000 people. It could be a little bit off, but that's kind of what it is. The thing that's cool about Nolensville, let me show you this. Here we go. It's, it's way east of Brentwood, but it's, this is some good country living out there. Nolensville is some good country living, real nice homes. There's no town center per se. If you drive drive up Nolensville Road, 41, I guess it is, there'll be little there'll be shops and different places that you can stop by and have, you know, real good barbecues out there. It's really good. <laughs> and there's some. Um, what am I trying to say? Knickknack shops, things like that. Um, there's no town center. Like Franklin, we were talking about it's sort of a Mayberry thing. There really isn't that per se in Nolensville, nor in Brentwood, nor in Spring Hill, nor in Thompson Station. Franklin's the only one that has that. But Nolensville is some good living, good folks out there. It's a little bit of a drive. If you're going to 65, it takes a minute to get there. But that's there's good living out there. And again, Williamson County, great schools, great place to live. Um, it's just a it's a great place to be uh, I'll show you the last thing I'll show you is on the the home value in Nolensville there it is because this kind of surprised you a little bit it's pushing 600 that's median that's single family and I'm, I'm including everything in there so Nolensville does pretty well I mean that's uh, the average income in Nolensville is pretty good <laughs> it's pretty good so listen, everybody, I really appreciate um, being able to do this for you. Hope I get better. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure this thing out. And I want to spe say a, a special thank you to Susan Thetford. Thank you for dropping by and saying something. We'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>